Alright, so a few months ago I split the sidewall on my tire when I was going off-road and it put me in a predicament. Uh, my tires were not very old yet um, they were no longer being made in that particular style. So I had to come up with a solution and I had another car with that takes the uh, exact same tire size. So I took a couple tires from the Jeep and put it on that tire and then I bought four new tires uh, for this vehicle. Um, now when I went shopping for tires uh, I definitely wanted something more aggressive than what I had on there before. I had a pretty mild all-terrain or AT tire on my Jeep. <clears throat> At the time when I bought them I bought the I bought them for a few reasons. One, they were very inexpensive so I wasn't spending a lot of money on them. Uh, two, I was hoping that my Jeep would be end up being my daily driver and so I bought something that was pretty mild um, so that I could drive it every day on the road. Now my Jeep has not become my daily driver. I have a different daily driver and it's become more of an off-road toy. So this time when I bought tires I want something more aggressive but I didn't want something that was too aggressive that made it unpleasant to get to and from uh, trails and things like that uh, because um, I, uh, you know, I still have to drive there and it's no fun getting there and being exhausted and beat up uh, when you get there. And price was also a factor because I was having to buy six tires instead of just four since I was buying tires for two vehicles and not just one so price again was a factor. So I once again went with Hercules. My last tires were Hercules as well and other than the split sidewall I really liked them. Now I was originally going to go with the uh, Hercules Trail Diggers but they've actually quit making those uh, which was a surprise to me at the time. So I ended up going with a uh, TerraTac TG Max tires. Now I had two options. I either could have done the TerraTrack MTs or the TGs. And I went with the TGs because they were slightly cheaper and they are they call them a uh, commercial traction tire and they said that they're better on road than the MT so that's uh, two reasons why I went with the TerraTrack TGs versus the MTs um, because of the supposed road manners as well as the <clears throat> the price I think they were about $12 when I bought them about $12 cheaper per tire uh, I've had them on the Jeep now for uh, a little over a month, almost two months. Um, but yesterday was the first day I actually took them off-road. Um, they've only done some city driving up to that point, and even not much of that. Now, as far as city driving, I will say that these surprised me in how quiet they were compared to my expectations. These are significantly more aggressive than my previous tires but they are not much louder if any louder on the road. So I'm not saying that they're quiet they're just not as loud as I expected them to be and I don't feel like they're much louder than my all-terrains were that I had previously. Now my all-terrains were getting a bit loud because I chewed them up um, in my last couple off-road trips and so they had some chunking on them and had gotten pretty loud. They were louder than I, they were when I bought them. So <clears throat> as far as on-road I definitely give these like a 7 out of 10 um, just because they I mean they are a, an aggressive off-road tire and so they do make a lot of road noise. Um, don't expect them to be whisper quiet on the road. They're not a Michelin uh, street tire. Now as far as off-road traction, I was very happy um, with my trip yesterday, excuse me, two days ago now. Um, it's been very rainy, so it was very muddy, so I drove it through a lot of mud. Um, and they kept themselves very clean of mud. Now I did not do uh, a very aggressive trail. I spent 90% of that trip in just two-wheel drive. Um, but I've done that trip with my all-terrains in the dry, and I had my Jeep in four-wheel drive more often um, with my all-terrains I did with these. I just didn't feel the need um, to put it in four-wheel drive. And, and the couple places where I did, um, I never slipped a tire. I am running open-open. 
So I never slipped a tire. I never felt a loss of traction. One of the times when I probably should have put it in four wheel drive and didn't, the tire, rear tires did spin just a little bit, but they definitely hooked up and grabbed really well. The rocks were wet. It was raining while I was out, so the rocks stayed wet the whole time I was out, and the mud stayed very muddy and watery. And so I'm very happy with the overall performance. Again, these are brand new tires, so of course, brand new tires tend to continue to do well off-road and it's kind of as you get them a little bit more worn that their performance starts to diminish some and so I will definitely do a follow-up after I get a few more miles on them I probably have less than a thousand miles on them at this point but they still look brand new even after uh, about uh, 40 miles 50 miles off-road on that uh, trail on Saturday that I did New Year's Eve day. <clears throat> but I like the way they look. I like the sidewall. The MTs were definitely more aggressive looking. Um, but I feel like these, as far as the look goes, definitely play the part. As well as I appreciate the fact that they are supposedly a little bit more quiet on road. Anyways, thank you for watching and have a great day.